Maintaining the chaser on a daily basis is crucial to the smooth running and operation of the machine. A routine grease and check should take approximately 30 minutes every morning. We'll start by taking a look at greasing the MC2. Open the chaser to the working position, lowering the gates onto the stops and then lift the jack legs until they're fully extended. Once you've done this, switch the machine off and check the connections to the tractor, making sure they're all secured correctly with no chance of any wires or hoses being caught by the link arms. The extension draw bar needs to be wax oiled every day. Extend it and apply, ensuring there is enough time for it to dry before using. There are various grease points that should be routinely checked when using the chaser. The draw bar lock needs a few pumps each morning. Underneath the first jack leg, there's a grease point. The front and rear of the main side gate ramp. The side gate pivot pins, two of them. The main draw bar pivot, both need a good amount of grease. The underneath of the second jack leg. Moving to the rear, the front and back of the fold down rams. Immediately next to these is the main bed pivot pins. Moving to the very back of the machine is the pallet forks. These need a good amount of grease. Working back down the other side of the chaser, you have the front and rear of the fold down ram and the main bed pivot again. The underneath of the second jack leg. Onto the side gate, both the main pivots and the front and rear of the main ram. Now the underside of the front jack leg. This then leads to the jockey wheel assembly. You have six in total here, easily found. The draw bar pivot ram has a grease point at each end. Underneath this, you have the draw bar extension ram. Again, a grease point at both ends. Remove the cover of the solenoid bank and use an airline, either from the tractor or a compressor, to clear any straw or debris from the units. After a visual check, the cover can be replaced. Two people may be required for this. Make sure all the locking pins are reattached. It's important to drain any moisture from the air reservoirs underneath the chaser on a daily basis. Whilst underneath the machine, the brake system needs greasing. Only one pump on each is necessary. The grease points under the main bed lift rams can also be accessed now. At this stage, you can check the wheel nuts on the machine, looking for any that have worked loose. Usually, you can tell by a wear line around the nut if it has. The chaser now needs to be tipped up vertically to continue, and you can roll the bale forks to the vertical position to make it easier to reach some grease points. Back on top of the chassis, there are grease points on the rams for the bale push of extensions. Also, the carriage extension ram has one at each end. At the front of the carriage are the main headstock lift rams, top and bottom of these. Behind these are the main headstock pivots, where it attaches to the carriage. There is then one at the bottom of the bale fork rollover rams. There are no grease points on the MC2 slide extension and the carriage roller bearings are sealed. Now it's time to roll the bale fork back over and lower and fully extend the headstock. Use wax oil to spray or brush on where the MC2 slide extension makes contact. You can then grease the bale fork rollover pivots and the rollover ram pins. The main bale fork pivots on the top of the headstock are easy to reach at this position, as well as the time carrier pivots, an easy one to miss. At this point, it's wise to check the tension of the tine nuts on the fork carrier. A socket may be necessary to tighten. Now let's take a look at greasing the Super Chaser extra headstock. The Chaser chassis and running gear need to be greased and serviced the same as the MC2 with the addition of the Super Chaser headstock. Start with the head folded up in transport mode to access the first group of grease points. Begin with the headstock lift rams, bottom and top, then onto the bale rollover ram, bottom and top. You can now reach the bale fork pivot pins on each side. If you can't reach that high, don't worry, you can do them again shortly. Now is the time to roll the fork over to 45 degrees, as shown, and lower the head to the ground. This enables access to the rest of the greasing points. From this 45 degree angle, you can now get the remaining two grease points on the bale fork pivots. And finally, there are the two main headstock pivots that were previously hidden. Lastly, We'll take a look at greasing the QM Super Chaser Extra Headstock. Again, on this machine, the running gear is the same as the Super Chaser and MC2, so the usual practice is followed from the beginning of this video. Start with the headstock in its upright position. The headstock lift rams have the usual points of bottom and top. The rollover rams have one at the bottom only. There's a grease point on both sides of the bale clamp. 
Now you need to lower the headstock down to the floor and roll the tines over. The bale fork rollover frame has a grease point on the bearings, but the 29T models have grease points on the outside of the frame and the bearing housing. Finally, check the tension of the bale tines and tighten with a socket if necessary. Once the machine is all folded back into transport position, it is time to check the lights are all functioning correctly. And it's wise to do a brake test before heading out to the field. The 2019 Heath Super Chaser range, moving bales off the field faster and more efficiently than ever before.